going on on my YouTube? It is I'm Jacob with another movie review for you. Oh, wait a minute, it's not. What's going on on my YouTube? It is I'm Jacob and welcome to another episode of. Ah, it's not an episode. What's going on on my YouTube? It is I'm Jacob and welcome to another installment of Revisiting Veggie Tales, where each week I review and sell. It's a good thing this was on patience, right? What's going on on my YouTube videos? I'm Jacob and welcome to another installment of Revisiting Veggie Tales, where each week I review and celebrate an episode of Veggie Tales, the classic Christian animated show from my childhood with talking vegetables and silly songs. And in this week's review, I'm taking a look at the 2009 episode, Abe and the Amazing Promise. Even the Amazing Promise was released in 2009. Again, this one being another first time watch as this is one of the later episodes. I could tell a dip in quality in the show, especially since I knew that Phil Vischer's last written episode was last week's review, Big River Rescue, which was a really good episode. Even though Mike Nalrocky was one of the credited writers, I could see that dip in quality pretty bad on Abe and the Amazing Promise because I was very frustrated and very disappointed with this episode. For one, the title Abe and the Amazing Promise is so misleading because you think, oh, it's Veggie Tales. They're going to do this really fun, clever take on the story of Abraham and the message is about patience. And they just skim through it and like the first half of the episode and I was shocked by that. Why? And your episode is about patience. You'd think that'd be the whole episode, but no, it's just the first half. They just skim right through it, and it's done in the weirdest way, because Junior is the co-host of the episode, and he wants to rush through so he can eat cookies, and they... I get what they're trying to do. They're trying to copy what Josh and the Big Wall did so well. Some of the jokes, some of the references, and having Bob and Junior be the host of the episode. And they bring back certain jokes from Josh and the Big Wall in here. But then it gets weird where Bob is part of a film crew and they're treating the story of Abraham as a documentary. And this, this whole story just felt so imbalanced. There's a couple jokes that I really like. Some of which are in the trailer. Travel to ancient Ur to reveal an amazing story of patience. Patience? He's fine. Not that kind of patience. And? And I started thinking up names for him. <laughs> Larry, Mo, Shemp. There's a couple jokes that got a little bit of chuckle out of me, but if we're going with the story of Abraham, you need more time to tell this story as it's about a man, a devout and faithful man who was promised an inheritance and a child. And I wish this uh, I wish this gave us time to flesh that out to show Abraham's constant devotion to God, the times where he fell short, but his continued devotion after overcoming the obstacles. But it just skimmed through it and the humor just felt a little more juvenile in this. And I was very unsatisfied. I get why some aspects had to be skimmed. Some of the aspects that would be uncomfortable being in a more kid-centric show like this. Like the time where Abraham actually had sex with one of his concubines and had a son named Ishmael to speed up the process. And that was a disaster. I get that. But the message on patience I felt was undermined because of the jokes and the weird setup and the pacing of Ava the Amazing Promise. The second half of the episode is not even related to the title. They decided to do a B story, and instead of having it as the first segment and then your big story at the end, they save the B story at the end like it's a complete surprise. It's called The Blunders of Boo Booville, and strangely, I thought that was the better segment of the two. That one actually was pretty decent. Uh, Larry is an inventor who has no patience. He rushes his inventions. They all fail. He always improvises, and that really leads him nowhere, and it really messes up his friendship with 
Bob the tomato in this, and throughout the segment, Larry learns a thing or two about patience. Impatience can lead to disaster. And I thought that one did the patience message a lot better. The story is very generic and it's very predictable, but it's done pretty decently. The songs in it, while not the best, are passable enough. It has its entertainment value, and I thought the message I thought was done at least decently in the second segment. It just baffles me that this was buried in an episode that's supposed to be Abe and the Amazing Promise. And you'd think that would be a whole episode based on this one segment. And it is really mind-baffling the decisions that were made here. Because the Abe and the Amazing Promise segment was a complete dud in my opinion. Biscuits of Boo Booville was decent, but the whole episode just fell off and fragmented because of what you're being promised in the title, but you don't really get it because the, the story itself is so rushed and jumbled, and there's another story in the second half. Even the Silly Song, this was the first Silly Song in a while where I was like, what is this song? We got Sneeze If You Need To. And I think the setup is there where Larry is a sneeze doctor and Bob is struggling to sneeze. But it just didn't, didn't really go anywhere. The song just meandered a little bit and I don't even think it had a good payoff either. It was just a random silly song. And I didn't really find it remotely funny or interesting. So the first disappointing silly song in quite a while easily the my least favorite silly song that I've come across in the series by far. I'm not going to remember this song long after finishing it. It's that forgettable of a song. And this is a pretty forgettable, disappointing, and forgettable episode. There's a couple of decent jokes in there. The animation is alright. There's a couple aspects that feel lazy, especially in the Abe segment. But overall, this is a very messy episode. And you can tell the creators were starting to lose their touch on VeggieTales because I don't think this episode works at all. This one felt more kid-centric. It doesn't have that balance and humor that makes the show relatable for kids and adults. I guess the message is done pretty decently on patience. Patience is a very relatable message, whether you're religious or not. And I think the patience part is done better in the second segment. But it's weird that it's in an episode called Abe and the Amazing Promise where it's the B segment, the second segment, that's buried on top of Abe and the Amazing Promise, which I don't think was done well at all because of the rush pacing. As Abe and the Amazing Promise, this episode doesn't work. I feel like Abe should have been its own episode, 30 to 50 minutes long with the silly song in between. Biscuits of Boo Boo Bill should have been the front of another episode or its own episode altogether. This is such a mess of an episode and it's easily one of the biggest disappointments I've seen in VeggieTales so far. And I'm going to give Abe and the Amazing Promise a 2.5 out of 5 stars and on the 100 point scale it's getting a 46 out of 100. So that wraps up my review of Abe and the Amazing Promise as part of my Revisiting VeggieTales series, where even though these later episodes I've never seen before, it's part of the overall series where I'm diving into all the episodes of VeggieTales from its original episode in 1993 all the way to its last in 2015. Even though this is a lackluster episode, I'm still having a great time reviewing all these episodes all the ones that I previously reviewed in my childhood, and moving on to these later episodes that I'm not as familiar with. So if you're a fan of VeggieTales, I'll leave a link in the description below where you can check out my previous VeggieTales reviews. I've reviewed plenty of episodes so far, including Where's God When I'm Scared, Are You My Neighbor, Rack Shack and Benny, Dave and the Giant Pickle. I've reviewed Nat and Blueberry, Josh and the Big Wall, the Larry Boy episodes. I reviewed some of the movies like Jonah and the Pirates Who Don't Do Anything, and some of the recent episodes I've reviewed include Mo and the Big Exit, The Wonderful Wizards of Oz, and Tomato Sawyer and Huckleberry Larry's Big River Rescue. I got more VeggieTales reviews to cover in this series, so if you're a fan of VeggieTales, 
Don't forget to click that link in the description below or on the iCard up above to catch up on my past reviews. And don't forget to click the subscribe button and notification bell so you can be notified of future Veggie Tales reviews. Join me next week in my series of Veggie Reviews where I'll be taking a look at a sequel episode for Veggie Tales, the sequel to Minnesota Cuke with Minnesota Cuke and the search for Noah's Umbrella. I was a big fan of Minnesota Cuke as a kid. That episode held up very well as an adult. I've never seen the Noah's Umbrella episode, so is that one any good? You'll have to find out when I dive into that episode next week. But if you've seen Abe and the Amazing Promise, let me know down in the comments below what you follow the episode. Did you love it? Did you hate it? Were you mixed on it? But whatever your thoughts are, please be civil and respectful of others. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Click the subscribe button to see more content and the notification bell next to it so you can be notified of future videos. If this is your first video, I usually do movie reviews, TV reviews, ranking videos, and other fun stuff along the way. I have some more videos planned for you soon. Hope you all have an amazing day. And remember, God made you special and he loves you very much. Goodbye!